Welcome guys, let's move on with part two of portrait management system. Guys, uh, the first thing is to create a database. So you hit on a uh, blank database. Then here we, sh uh, we shall write a uh, portrait that is uh, portrait portrait management management system. Then you redirect where you want uh, your file. So I want my file to be saved on my desktop. So I just uh, click on OK, then create. Then after having done that, I need to create the tables. So I go to create, uh, then I just go to create, then table design. Uh, here I will create my table. So I have the, the port record. This one will be auto number and the primary key here. Then we shall have uh, the type of the bird. Type of the bird shall have age of the bird. I shall have the shed in which the bird resides. We shall have the buying price. Buying price. We shall have uh, the number or quantity. Number or quantity of the birds uh, bought. Then the total uh, buying price for the total buying price. Then we shall also have the number died, number died, or number dead there. Then we shall have the cause of death, uh, cause of death, cause of death. Then we shall have the, uh, that is the selling price, selling price. We shall have the selling price shall have the number or quantity sold quantity sold then total as a selling price it's just how it's total selling price then we shall also have the eggs read that is the quantity of eggs read there then uh, we shall have the eggs sold and then we shall have the uh, uh, that is total total eggs amount that is the amount sold then after having done that one that one will cater for the bad stock so here we shall have can have this one as lookup wizard so we just go to uh, the wizard here therefore I just go I type I go to next then here we can have uh, various like now we can have kienyeji can have improved improved kienyeji can also have now the rares the normal ones the rares so this is improved so finish then after having done that age is number age is number then shared remains uh, this one can be you can have it as currency this one number this one can be currency uh, this one number uh, then selling price can be number or uh, currency then this one should be currency number uh, sold number x read number this can be currency then after having done that you can go to cause of death here we go to lookup wizard then i will type the various i want i go to next here uh, we have uh, natural can have uh, can ju just have a sickness a sickness can have predator 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 uh, or others 
and the courses like that then after having done that you can save uh, that table here you can save this one so this is poultry or bird birds details then we go ahead and create the next one just go to create table design here now we create the uh, the feeding so we shall have the the feed code the feed code this one can be outer number and the primary key then we shall have the feed type feed type then we can have uh, the quantity quantity boot quantity boot this is a number then we shall have the quantity fed this is a number we can have the date of buying date of buying date and time then we shall have the price the price this is currency then we shall go ahead and have the the total spend total spend this can be number or currency currency then from there we shall have the shed the shed in which uh, this food uh, this feed is uh, taken for consumption so guys save this one as uh, feeds we go ahead to our next table create then table design we shall have the medicine table therefore we shall have the medicine uh, code can have the medicine code outer number and primary key then we shall have the uh, the type of medicine medicine whether normal or vaccination then we can, we can have the cost cost of medicine cost of medicine currency then we have date date are the mean listed date and time then we can have the shed the shed in which this bird resides then after having done that i just need now to save that one this is medicine medicine so guys those are my three tables and uh, the next thing i need to do is to create relationships so i go to database tools relationships then i need to remove these ones you just press click and press delete then right click go to show table i show table by double clicking on them so these are my three tables guys and then i need to create a relationship uh, so i have the shared uh, take that one to that one so in case you get this in the dominant you will also uh, need to go ahead and uh, do a bit of uh, normalization that is uh, on our uh, that is on our table so guys i cross that then i need to come here create then table design we create the shared id shared shared id that is uh, shared id this is outer number primary key then we have the the shared the shared name then save this one as shared shares then from there i cross i double click my shades so we shall have the shades we can have a random london shade we can have new york we can have nairobi can have um, Lagos, we can have uh, Tree Bori, we can also have something like um, a Dubai. Th those are the names of our sheds. So, guys, I cross that, I go back to the birds, I click go to design view. So, I go to where 
the shade is here, here. I go down here, just go to Rookup Wizard. Then, guys, this time around, I use option number one. I want the Rookup field to get the values from another table or query. So I go to next. This time around, I hit on shades, next. Then I need to have the shade name. We take it to the right hand side, next, uh, next. Then these are the feeds. So I click next. Then I just click on finish. Um, after having done that one, I save that. Then I go back to uh, this one, to feeds. I do the same. Go to design view. Go to where the shed is here. I go down here. Go to uh, rook up wizard. Choose the first option again. Next. Uh, I want to read the shades. Next. Also, I read this one. Next. 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 Finish. There we are. Then I go to the last one, guys. I go to medicine. Right click. Go to design view. Then I go to where the shades is. Then you just go to a rook up wizard. Then option number one. Next. Choose the shade. Next. Uh, then go to shade name. I want to read the shade name. Uh, like that. Then I hit on finish. Then after having done that one, guys, I save this. Right click, cross all. Then I just go to database tools. Now I can just right click here. Uh, right click. We need to uh, click on relationships. Then, if, for example, if I remove now these ones, if I remove these ones, then you just go to show tables. Uh, guys, uh, having done that one, you see now uh, we shall have created a relationship. So you just need to click there and force. Double click there and force. Double click there enforce there we are so you have noticed that um, i have been in a position to create the relationship uh, uh, the relationship is uh, coming out from the that is from the sheds so all these tables will be connected together using these uh, uh, that is using the the sheds that is using the sheds uh, table. This is how now the relationship uh, looks like. You see now we have one to many relationship. Then after doing that, I save that one and then cross. And then now I will head to uh, the query. So guys, remember to subscribe. Remember to share my files. Also, remember to comment so that uh, we can be in a position to uh, uh, go on with the database. So uh, before I exit, you realize that uh, you can read the sheds here from this table. You can also go to feeds table here and also uh, read that. You can also read the same sheds from uh, medicine table. So guys, that is uh, the end of part one. In my next uh, video, I will be doing the queries. That is the, uh, I will be doing the bad stock control query and also uh, feeding uh, module uh, and also I'll be doing the medicine module. So I'll keep on uh, waiting for that.